Hello, this tutorial will demonstrate how to reconcile your accounts in Fund Manager. Reconciling your accounts verifies the share balances in Fund Manager match the share balances from your statement. Keeping your accounts reconciled helps ensure all of your transactions are recorded correctly. You can edit, you can reconcile as often as you want. To reconcile an account, choose Edit, Reconcile from the menu, or you can right mouse click on an account and choose reconcile from the pop-up menu. When reconciling, you choose which account to reconcile. It can be any sub-portfolio that you have open and the source of your reconciliation statement. You can retrieve from your broker or fund company. You can manually reconcile or you can reconcile against an OFX file. Um, Usually you'll probably choose the option to retrieve from your broker or fund company. These are the options available in the personal and professional version. The advisor version has additional uh, statement sources that we'll cover later in the tutorial. For now, we're gonna go ahead and retrieve from our broker and fund company. The reconciliation wizard will list all of the um, investments that do not balance. In this example, you can see we have 22 balanced investments and zero unbalanced investments, so there's nothing listed here. If you want to see all your balanced items, you can just uncheck this and they'll be shown in the list. For this tutorial, we'll purposely introduce an error and then show you how to fix it. So I'll go ahead and cancel this and go to the data register. And in our TD Ameritrade, I'm going to make an edit to this Lowe's transaction. Instead of buying 1,200 shares, I'm going to pretend we accidentally recorded it incorrectly and bought 1,300 shares. So now you can see our share balance is 1,300. And if I go back and reconcile this account again, this time you see we have an error. Fund manager says we have 1,300 shares, but our statement says we should only have 1,200 with a difference of 100. So we have this time we have 21 balanced investments and one unbalanced. So to fix an error, highlight the line and click edit. That opens up this investment in the data register. Um, initially it shows the data type as share transactions because those are the only thing that affect your share balance. But if you wanted to see all transactions like we had before, you would change it there. And you would have to go through here and figure out what was wrong compared to your comparing to the transactions on your statement since the last time you reconciled. In this case, we know what's wrong, so we'll just fix it. And you can see the reconciliation wizard was updated and uh, no longer lists it. So we can just say finish to go ahead and mark our account as reconciled as of uh, the statement date. Once an account is reconciled, Fund Manager will help prevent you from accidentally modifying transactions that have already been reconciled. For example, if we tried to modify a transaction in a reconciled account for a date earlier than our last reconciled date, we'll get a warning. I'm going to go back and do this same transaction. If I were to try and modify it now, Since this date is before um, our reconciled date, we're going to get a warning. It's going to say you're trying to modify some data um, with a date prior to your last reconciled date. Um, are you sure you want to do it? You can allow it. Go ahead and allow it if you know if you really intend to do this. Um, typically, you wouldn't want to modify data that's already been reconciled. So we'll just say do not allow and cancel out of this for now. If you do have a special situation where you have an investment in an account that you don't want to be reconciled, you can exclude it from the reconciliation process. You do this by going to the properties of, of the investment and on the other tab, turn on this option that says ignore when reconciling. When you turn on that option, 
um, the reconciliation process will proceed as normal. It just won't flag anything that's been marked as ignore uh, as an error. The rest of this tutorial will go over the additional reconciliation features in the advisor version. So we're going to switch over to an uh, open copy of Fund Manager Advisor. Here's an example uh, setup an advisor may have where you have all your clients organized. Um, an additional feature in the advisor version is that you can do bulk reconciliation, meaning multiple accounts all at once. And you can also have additional statement sources, uh, those being from institutional file formats from your broker. So that bulk reconcile, go to edit, bulk reconcile. And you can choose the statement source. In this case, we're going to, you can see you have all these institutional file formats that you can choose from. In our case, we're going to use a Scott Trade position file. And we have all of our Scott Trade files in this folder. You could browse to wherever you keep yours. And we're going to reconcile as of the end of last quarter, which was June 30th. So you have to enter the date that you want to reconcile and point it, point fund manager to where your uh, statement files are located. And just click next. Here you can see we have 15 balanced accounts and no unbalanced accounts and every account had a statement. So there's no quote, no statement accounts. If you want to see all your balanced accounts, you just turn that on. Um, if you did have a, account that had an error in it, it would be listed here. And to fix it, you would just highlight that account with an error and you would choose this reconcile button. And that opens up the reconciliation wizard that does a single account and it will show you um, on a per investment basis any errors and you would fix them just like we did in the prior example. Uh, this concludes the reconciliation tutorial. Thanks for watching.